Remodeling a bathroom can be very frustrating. You have to deal with plumbers, electricians, tile guys, carpenters, and drywall guys. But I did it myself. Everything just by watching YouTube videos and got myself a brand new top quality bathroom. Today, I wanted to share with you all my beginner tips, rookie mistakes, things to watch out for that I learned along the way, and let you know that it's very doable and even better if you do it yourself because you love and care for your space. Everybody, my name is Ono and welcome to my channel. This house was built in 1973, so it's almost 50 years old. The shower did not have a hot water and the tiles were loose, not to mention the toilet water tank leaked constantly. There was nothing I could really save, so everything needed to be replaced. I got several estimates for remodeling this bathroom, but I realized that I could not get close to affording it. But I couldn't wait to change this bathroom, so I decided to do it myself and started to learn from pros on YouTube. When you demo, please be careful because there could be electrical wires and plumbing pipes behind the walls. It can also be a very messy job. This was my first bathroom project and I was very nervous about the plumbing and electricity. I am extremely grateful for those amazing people who teach and share their knowledge on YouTube, so thank you. The videos I used as guides are linked in the description box below. It is always a good idea to clean as you go and keep your workspace neat. There were many times when I was scared to look at myself in the mirror. door you see is going to become a pocket door. The door opens into the bathroom. It feels quite crowded. Since it is a 70s house, all the electrical wires are aluminum. So I attached a short section of copper cables to the end of the aluminum wire at every connection point because copper is better and safer. This process is called pigtailing. If your home was built in the 80s, 70s, or earlier, it is a good idea to know if your home has aluminum or copper wires. When you are doing the electricity, make sure the power is off and always double check, just in case. Now I'm repositioning the electrical box because I want to change the vanity light. I was planning to put a pocket door inside the wall, but after I saw four studs there, it seemed serious. This wall could be a load-bearing wall, so I decided to put a pocket door in front of the wall instead. I am building the shower pan curb. After I watched numerous videos about how to build shower pan curbs on YouTube, I chose this method because there are no screws or nails used inside or on top of the curb. This is because I wanted this shower to be the most waterproof it could be. A recessed medicine cabinet is nice to have in the bathroom, because if it isn't there, stuff will be on the countertop. It's surprisingly simple to install. Just make sure to inspect the wall where you want to install the medicine cabinet. It is extremely important to mix mud, cement, mortar, or grout exactly as the instructions say. Measure everything very carefully by using a measurement cup or bucket that are very inexpensive, and you can find them in any painting department. One time when I mixed my mortar, I eyeballed the water amount and learned my lesson the hard way. Clean your tools right after using them, especially with mortar and grout related projects. I left my tools in water bucket overnight thinking they would be as easy as cake batter in the morning, but they hardened more in the water and I spent two hours trying to clean my tools.
This bathroom is small and the shower is quite narrow, so I wanted this wall to look deep, dimensional, and reflective. This wall was the easiest part of the project, yet it turned out to be the statement piece. I will have a separate video about this wall, so make sure to look out for it. Since we could not have hot water in the shower, I realized that we needed a new shower valve, so I learned to solder from YouTube. Honestly, I was scared, but now it feels great. I never knew I could do this until I tried. Waterproofing was the most important part of the project. I filled every screw hole and seam with silicone. Then I applied a red guard. Also learned in time, I've got a standard mud set shower. I've got this real thick kind of porous base in my shower. It never dries and it never dries. And After seeing this video, I decided to waterproof my shower pan as well. I really love this product. After three layers of red guard being applied, it looked and felt like a thick, seamless plastic. that small tiles are perfect for the shower floor because it would not be slippery and easy to slope. I'm sorry, I saved this footage because it looks so funny to me. I chose big tiles for the shower wall because it would be faster and easier for a rookie like me. This 
tile leveling kit is a must have and I couldn't imagine installing the tiles without this. This wall is sticking out because I installed the pocket door in front of the existing wall. I don't want to mess with the load-bearing wall because load-bearing walls basically carry your house weight. My goal for this bathroom is for it to last a very long time with no problem, so quality was my number one priority. Everything I used in this bathroom was very durable, beautiful, and still budget friendly.
Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Stay blessed and see you soon.